back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to show you how to do a really easy chicken and rice recipe. Real simple. I've already cooked about two and a half cups of rice. You add that to the pot and the dry rice and you um, put enough water in to cover it. Um, I use parboiled rice. It's my husband's favorite. It's white parboiled, but you could use any kind of rice. I've used brown rice. I've used mint rice. Anything. It doesn't matter. I've used jasmine rice. All different kinds. Then I took three chicken breasts. Boiled them. I usually don't use breasts. I use chicken thighs. Usually. Got a little more fat on them. And when there's fat, there's flavor. Sorry, but this is the truth. Um, this I'm probably gonna have to add a little bit of broth to, and a little bit of uh, bouillon cube to kind of enhance the flavor. So you take your three cooked chicken breasts and your cooked rice, and I believe rice doubles in size. So if you did two cups or two and a half, it's like five cups of rice. Um, then my three breasts, get them ready. You need to chop them. They don't need to be bite-sized pieces. They need to be a little bit smaller than that. It's not perfect. You know, they're just kind of coarsely kind of chop them up. Okay, and this rice, I decided I was going to, um, Usually I just put cream of chicken and then some kind of vegetable. But tonight we're having a lot of other vegetables from the garden and stuff like that. So I'm not going to put any vegetables in it. I'm going to put cream of chicken soup and celery, cream of celery soup in this. So, get a little bit of flavor. adding it to my cooked rice. I drained the cooked rice and rinsed it off a little bit trying to get it to stop cooking. So you rinse it off with some cool water to stop the cooking process. And it kind of, it kind of, pardon the phrase, it kind of gets goopy, sludgy from the starch. So I'll also rinse it for that reason as well. leftover chicken broth from my from my um cooking my breasts they don't really have much flavor you know because they don't like I said they don't have any fat on them so we're gonna pull we're gonna re-boil that broth so I can use a little bit of it in this Go ahead and add all of my ingredients together. So my family size can of cream and chicken soup. And a small, let's see, I think it's 10 and a half ounce can of cream of celery. Go ahead and mix those in. And this would be the time that you want to um, season it if you want to. A little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper. I wouldn't put too much salt in it because it's got condensed soups in it and they have a lot of sodium. So, what I would do personally is let everybody season it when they get it on the plate. But you can put a little bit of salt in there. It's not going to hurt anything. Just be mindful how much you put in. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take your chicken and take your rice and kind of mix it together a little bit before you start adding all this stuff. Make sure your oven's preheated 375. That way, we put it in there, kind 
I get all these flavors together. So like I said, I usually typically don't do that. I add broccoli, or you could do peas and carrots, or you could just do peas. Just whatever vegetable that you want that, uh, you know, will bake well. Sometimes I put cheese in it, sometimes I don't. Tonight, I'm not gonna be putting cheese in it. So if you're following along, you see that this is kind of thick. And if I put it in the oven like this, what's gonna happen is, it's really gonna turn into just dried out every every all of it's just gonna be a big dried out mess. So what I do is I use the broth, the flavor broth, to thin it out. It has flavor and it helps me thin out the rice so it's even edible. And you know if you undercook your rice just a little that's okay, because you're fixing to fix that. All right, remember, 375 on your oven. All right. All right, I'll be right back. Let me get that broth. Okay, so broth is ready to go. It doesn't take long at all, and you can do it. If you wanted to, you can do it in the microwave. It's fine. You're just trying to flavor your broth. Just a little bit. So when you add it, remember it won't dry it out, give it a little bit more flavor. That's all we're trying to do. And I already added a little bit of kosher salt and a little bit of ground black pepper. Okay. So I do about three or four ladlefuls of the chicken broth to make it kind of soupy. That way when it comes out of the oven, it's perfect. And really, honestly, you could probably just serve it this way, but we typically don't, just to heat it through just a little bit. And like I said, sometimes we add cheese. We've been getting to where we don't. Okay, and that's what it's gonna look like. And you need to get you a grease 9 by 13 pan and put it in that, put it in the oven, 375 until it's hot and bubbly. I'll be back and I'll show you what it looks like. I also was going to tell y'all to, like, see how, how full the pan had gotten? Probably need to set it on a cookie sheet before you put it in the oven so it doesn't make a mess. And you need to cover it with foil. And then I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. See you in a minute. Okay, everybody. This is it. Chicken rice, real simple, it's a comfort food, my kids love it, and also it will freeze really easy. You can just put it in a covered container and put it in your freezer, but I would suggest within at least four weeks that you eat it. 